all space operations, man's tools are of utmost importance. They consist of information gathering devices, both optical and electronic, timekeeping devices, and computers. For manned space navigation, the information gathering devices are the most varied. They include sextants or other optical instruments to measure angles between celestial bodies. Onboard radar and other electronic equipment for position determination and tracking. Earth-based radio and radar for precise distance and velocity measurements. And inertial sensing and measuring equipment to provide a reference frame for positioning the vehicle during mid-course correction and to control the corrective maneuvers. Accurate timekeeping and time recording are done electronically to an accuracy of one ten billionth of a second. The computers, onboard and Earth-based, use both stored information and that furnished them by the measuring and sensing devices. They process at a high speed the large number of involved calculations necessary during all phases of a journey. They can solve in seconds problems which would take an experienced navigator an entire voyage to calculate. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is engaged in the design and development of these devices and at the procedures and techniques for their use. Studies are underway to determine what navigation functions can best be performed by man in space and which function should be automatic or Earth-based. Automatic onboard star tracking equipment developed for unmanned spacecraft will be available to supplement manned equipment. Deep space tracking equipment and methods are now so accurate that spacecraft can be guided to the moon and the near planets with remarkable accuracy. For example, Mariner 2 on its mission to Venus traversed 180 million miles of space and was placed within 12,000 miles of its target center. This is like shooting at a moving target from a platform that is moving and rotating at a range of one mile and hitting the target four and one quarter inches from dead center. Later, Ranger 7 hit the moon within eight miles of its aiming point, an inch and a half miss at one mile. Ranger 9 came closer, impacting only two and three quarter miles from its target center. Mariner 4 came even closer. Traveling 325 million miles, Mariner 4 swept past Mars within 2,000 miles of its aiming point. And the very first surveyor, Surveyor 1, soft landed on the moon within nine miles of its target center. A remarkable first attempt. These historic space flights are great technological achievements. They're skillful demonstrations of the reliability and accuracy of Earth-based tracking techniques. But we're still working on the considerable problems of landing on a planet within an accuracy of 10 miles. <laughs>